Hello, welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with my amazing, interesting, and exciting co anchors, Ife Omai uh -huh. and Benny Hi, So it is a good day. Uh, it is a good day. You know what's up now? It's, I was gingered mm. by the reservations, you know. The lady's looking pretty, pretty. Thank pretty, you. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, mm. pretty, pretty possessing mm -hmm. this morning. Like, prepossessing. Prepossessing. Mm. You look good, I like what you got on. Elsa's looking all red, you know, man. So much passion being exuded. It's, it's so it's sweet. All good. I mean, Thank you. I like it. You look handsome as well. Thank you very much. I awesome. like it. You look, um, what's the word? What? <laughs> <laughs> can I give a compliment in peace? Okay, I'll keep that to myself. Oh, okay. Moving on real quick. <laughs> Megan the Stallion's liberal boss, um, Carl Crawford, accuses Jay-Z of trying to steal her, claims she owes him $2 million. He claims he's being robbed and blames Jay-Z's management company, Rock Nation, for pitting him against Megan. He denied um, being greedy and blocking her from releasing new music. He told Billboard, um, quote, the only thing we ever did was give, give, give. Now she fell for the oldest trick in the industry, they conquer and divide them, end of quote. He went on to say, everybody in the industry knows this is what Jay-Z and Rock Nation do. They come in, um, they find the smallest things wrong with the problem because there weren't any problems before she left. And then she says that I didn't want to negotiate. Um, he also said Megan Thee Stallion has 60-40 splits and she got part of her masters, also implying that that would not have happened if she were at... Um, most, most record deal will never give their, an, an, an artist, their masters, mm. at, at first signing. Most record um, labels never do that. And even 60-40. Yeah. Yeah, and 60-40 is pretty, I was, when I heard that, I was like, wow, this is, this is great. This is fair enough. You know, and like we did say on the show yesterday, I think the whole Rock Nation thing probably will have up to what happened between Stallion and a record label boss. Um, it's pretty much unfortunate that this is happening right now. But this is it. I mean... Uh, you can't be up against Rock Nation. You can't be up against Jay Z. Yeah. He has he has the connect. He has the money. And yeah. so um, and for for Megan for Megan the Stallion, uh, she she's hungry. You know, like typical stereotypical of every artist, upcoming artist who needs the bread, they will always jump ship. And you're talking about Jay Z. You talk about mm. Rock Nation. Who wouldn't want to jump on the ship of Rock yeah. Nation? You know, but at the end of the day, I want to trust Rock Nation to go do what is right because he's making so many claims. They're owing him. Um, she goes to gigs. She, she charges like $100,000 $100, for for gig. Mm -hmm. And that so far, she's had about 25 gigs and no money has been remitted to him. And so if this is true, I want to believe Rock Nation will do what is right by the books. I like know? that. I like that he's coming out to speak. He's yeah. not acting like the regular record label boss yeah. that would keep quiet and start for me and you owe me. He's giving details yeah. and that's what I like about the story. However, I uh, I also don't want to look at this as a Jay-Z with hunting or Rock Nation with hunting. I, I feel business is business. So it, it is you business, got signed right? under yeah. Rock Nation to manage you. Yeah. It is expected for them to do everything within their powers to fight for you and get better representation for you. Now, is there a hidden agenda of behind course. that fighting? We don't know for sure. Oh, <laughs> you, know, you know, you know. I really, I really don't, I really don't care if so much. Jay Z is definitely in know what's going on because he's, of course, he's boss, he's and he wouldn't manage and make sure everything is okay if he didn't see that there was something to gain from that. They're not so, related. You know, it's a management deal, so it behoves you as the management to Megan Thee Stallion to check the books, to check mm -hmm. the records. What what Crawford is putting out is it true? And what comes to mind again is Golden Boy Entertainment and Peruzzi. Mm -hmm. DMW was meant to serve as the management outfit for, for Peruzzi, not a record label. Mm -hmm. Then at the end of the day, all the process, the shows, the, the, the music being released by, by, um, by Peruzzi on the DMW, what was due to Golden Boy was not being given to Golden Boy. It's and interesting books, you're even raising that because you know. it seems like the conversation around that has died down. But yeah. this uh, mm -hmm. woman came your lawyer. I know people don't pay high level of attention, but, but that woman so drops so many stinkers in the mm. industry and around and she said she, something she yesterday and she was saying Kenny that has truth. yeah she was saying that something big is going to happen very soon that the case we think is done that's the golden boy it's not and over. that it's not over no. and if um, dmw is not careful that it's going to actually dig deep into their pockets in a way that they cannot handle so yeah. we're still watching that space to yeah. see what happens i think but the only thing to, i would okay. say for um Kemi. Mega, Mega, okay no, Mega. <laughs> Mega is that you know it's up to you to actually decide there's a lot of people who have been upcoming and stick with their 
one person who believed in them when nobody else yeah. did. Mm -hmm. um, it's always safer to me because you wouldn't always be in the limelight. And I don't know if you always be important to Rock Nation like you are right now. So yeah. consider that. But that doesn't mean that you Even need going to by be. her words, she said she felt they were family. So yeah. they've treated you as family yeah. always. So she, I think she should take this... Um, interview that with the that the boss had as an insight of how he's feeling i don't i don't smell any bad blood i don't smell any um revenge or neg or you know spitefulness yeah. in it at all so she should really hear him out and then obviously they slash that out but understand that jay-z is not your daddy no. or daddy or any type of daddy so um yeah stay woke Okay, um, let's move to the next story. Ariana Grande and Mickey Foster's relationship is over after eight months. A source tells US Weekly that they ended romantic things between them around a month ago. There is no reason, however, given as to why the former lovebirds decided to split. I really, I really don't have much to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's interesting how the you know, breakup is bigger than the main story because yeah. when we when we started suspecting if they were together, mm -hmm. it was very, it was a very quiet news. And um, Ariana Grande has been one who's come out a lot to talk about her her love life because it's been interesting. They've they've died. They have. Mm. You know, there's there's quite a bit that has gone yeah, on. Some not. of them have gone to get then get married. So yeah. her personal life has unfolded, and the repercussions of that have unfolded in front of everyone. Mm -hmm. So we took more interest into this person because of that. Not that there's anything actually phenomenal special. or yeah. special about that, but it seems to have died down now. It's nothing big about, about that. That's life. It happens. Mm. Okay, sorry. I guess. Mm. I also thank like you, to <laughs> yeah, I really thank you, Nez. I like to um, bring back what we said on this table. I think you were on the show when we were discussing her life and when she released the thank you, Nez, and yeah. also dealing with the death of her ex. Mm. And we were saying that her life is something you can actually look at and want to Emily because she goes through a lot. Yeah. We don't even know the ones that are going on behind does, does the scenes. A, does, but she had a, does she ever had a stint with Big Sean? Yes. Yes, she, she did. Yes, yes, sometime. Yeah, they did. But yeah, yeah, but the good thing is she finds a way to put all this into her music yeah. and uh, make something out of her life. So I, I think I still wish her the very best. Yeah. If she's, it's, it's a relationship ended. Another one. Thank you. Next. Is that for me, I mean, I'm, I'm, t I'm going to take it from a social media angle. You, mm -hmm. You're a celebrity. I did say it some time here on the show that there are a few things I feel about you shouldn't make it to social media because when it goes wrong, then the whole world is privy to it because so much of it. I don't think so she did. It, I don't think she, she did not. Know, but that, that's the thing. I mean, yeah, you're a celebrity already. The spotlight is already mm -hmm. on you. And so is that is that part of your life you can actually keep away from the spotlight? It's almost you impossible. Know? This is impossible. Except you put a in bag fact, on his head this, and like, in this know, part of the world, like it, yeah. In this part of the world, I think it's even easier to hide your relationship yeah. here compared to over there yeah. where the paparazzo and paparazzi follow you yeah. everywhere yeah. so the good thing is she wasn't putting it out there herself but yeah. there is no way you won't know who is it's with exactly. who exactly that's they a, can't that's really a, hide it a, a, I'm, I'm so i'm so well i think suffice to say so far there's not been anything scandalous about ariana grande yeah. as his dance and so yeah there is there oh really is. yeah maybe no, no, not in it? her love life that okay. she black fishes that's that's the oh. biggest thing about oh. her, that she acts like a black girl, wears black, darker skin makeup, but doesn't actually but, emulate the black culture. A lot of them do that. But she's but, mixed, isn't it? She's no, not, no, she's no, no, she's white. white. She's white. She's a white girl. I, oh, I watched her growing up on Victorious. I'm young. Yes, I'm that young. Uh, she's white. She's very white. But recently, with the but, transition, but she's, 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 she's trying acted, to identify as a black person. She's trying should, to should get the benefits of looking like a black person. I don't think she benefits. actually wants to be a black the, person. Oh, really? The benefits of looking like a black mm. person? <laughs> in, the, in the industry, in the industry okay. of course. Black, black music is the music. It's the standard mm. everywhere. So, of course, you want to look I'm glad like to them. find out that there's a benefit some way. Some you way. know, I mean, <laughs> bit, bit, you know? Hallelujah. Wow. It's time for a quick break. But when we return, there's definitely more to discuss. Don't go nowhere. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Mm. Akpala music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from... 
Malawi like woo. <laughs> Welcome back. Mike Ezuonye recounts how fraudsters among um, almost used his lucky mansion as collateral for 80 million naira loan. So I don't know why this guy is always the one. Um, people are using. People are using. Recall that one was jailed for mm. about a year, and now another one is happening. I don't want to say yeah, what yeah, is on my mind. It's gotta go. It's gotta go. You need that, right? Let's just keep it to ourselves. Because when right? I saw it, I was like, when he was acting CB and saying, please be careful, I'm like, nobody is gonna fall for a passport picture. Like your passport that's like, the shot is from here to here. Please. Which original passport has a picture where the head to like your, your belly button is showing? Like, I'm sure you're not gonna edit this thing at home and then put it on there for us. But mm. if, that, if that's what's happening, I don't wanna be insensitive. Mm. But yes, I hope that the bank. Yeah. And I hope that the right authorities mm. take action. Not going right? to trivialize mm. his situation, you know, but I think <laughs> <His situation. laughs> But Michael Zuri needs to. I don't know who. Where, who does he keep company with? Who are the people around his circle? I mean, because hey, people, people, he's gonna get access to you that way into your to your store. Even know your house. That's it. Then there's something. There's something you're not doing. That's something. Oh, he's you're talking not doing too right. much about this house. Oh, he's just supposed to know about the house. Okay. You know, or maybe you're putting too much of your of your business out there with people mm. who are not concerned. I mean. And at the end of the day, it comes to the fact that there's fraud in the system. There's fraud mm. in, in the country. We can't, we can't totally ignore that. Um, Do you really yeah. think, though, that people are going to want to identify and um, um, target him as another victim after somebody just went to prison? For because, using his name, like for, know, of, don't they think it's already stale by now? Like because, because if, it, if it was an easy, if it was an easy catch, then yes, they will. It's called sweet, you know. It was sweet. So okay, so it, so they, his they his name, his name is supposed to be on the um, passport, right, and yes. other documents. And if this person is going to use his property for collateral, is his presence not required? Mm. The, 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 the gaps in between that story, because she just rightly said it, true. So, I mean, how did they get the C of O? I mean, because they're also required. Even if he didn't start the story, passport. which I suspect, yeah. even if he didn't start the story, I think he really blew it. I don't think the story was going, I don't think this fraudulent act was going anywhere, anywhere. Well, maybe he's in on the fraudulent act, I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah, I, I said you know, the different angles sorry. to it, exactly. Okay. It just maybe. Because you, you blew it out, <laughs> nobody really knew about it. Yeah, you it made wasn't us it. Know yeah, about and it, you say so. your female fans, like, who are you talking about? Like. The and devil, it, even with stats, it's clear here that people, women are not even that accessible to buying properties and things like that. It just makes the story a lot harder for me to believe. I like, mean, a woman would really be the one to be buying that, like, 60 million naira house million. without, 80 million. with 80 million, without any, like, support Like, any or woman, or, this is not to shade the men or anything, yeah. but any woman who has worked hard enough to, to have that kind of money, trust me, she has eyes for details. And she's not going to oh, yeah. get a passport, believe a passport that your belly button is just, showing. Exactly, like. just an international <laughs> passport. I mean, the CFO, I mean, title deeds, I mean, okay. all of that comes to play. So, Mike is really, I don't know, probably, I don't, I don't want to think wash your a head. stunt. <laughs> maybe he's not a stunt. Yeah, maybe he's, not maybe a he's stunt. a constant um, target. He's so. not been in any movie. Lately, that I can remember. Wow. Uh, I think, I think he. I think, uh, no, um, after there was one Uncle Jeku. After oh, wow. that, which other one? Um, okay, there, okay, there was a movie I saw of him lately about Lekki, something about Lagos life, where mm. they were living a whole lot of fake life in Lagos, not the bling Lagosian. Another movie like wow. that. Well, well then he's working, yeah. so let's this let's soft, let's just leave it. So he, he needs to, <laughs> let, let me let me sound typical like the, the, and Nigeria would do. He uh, should go mm. for deliverance. <sighs> Mm. <laughs> okay, let's just move on to the next story, which is still on Nollywood, as um, Femi Fanny Kayode makes Nollywood debut in Silence Pre Prejudice, right? Silent Prejudice. Yeah. Um, That's a big <clears> one. <throat> it's a good one, but did you notice how the blogs read out his full, like even the names... Why did they do that? Even the names we did not know he had. Why is it that deep? To make sure he's the one. Like his names, are, those names are not even going to be on his passport. I don't think we care. So that how, how did they get that information? Because I because think his name is Wikipedia. It's saying his bio. All, all of his yes. names like that. I guess so. But this is it. I don't know what is coming as a shock. I don't know what is it. Is it like coming as a surprise that Femi Fallon is staring Femi in him? This is his Fanny first. Fanny this is his first Yeah. Is it coming as a surprise that he's staring in in the movie? Yeah. Yeah. And 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 also what he said. He's always had a he's always had a cultural background. I mean, go go through his 
go through his bio. At one time, he was culture and tourism minister. Why are you? Are he you has, saying that knowledge. equivalent? To are you saying? saying are you saying we shouldn't be as excited as he is for himself? Because he's, he's definitely excited. If you yeah. read what he wrote, yeah, I'm, I'm he's talking about him. how he now respects the craft more. He has a training in he the now arts, understands and so it's expected that, that, that okay. It's expected. Yes, it's expected at the end of the day. I really don't think so. Actually, like like with what he has attained, being the minister, being it's always a cross carpet. Politicians, some politicians go into acting. Well, I mean, they also act in the house, right? They act in the house as well, right? I feel like that list is very small. There's a lot of industries, maybe music and acting, yes, but politics and acting. Or maybe moving from acting and then into politics. It's not. It's usually not. What I'm saying is, for most of those who cross carpet into acting, most politicians who do. Check their training, check their background. They they have training in arts and nah, theater. This and all so they're, this they're, they're chasing movie, their passion, right? Of, there's a lot of politicians in there. Yeah. That's not just um, Femi Falano, and it's because of the commission. Femi Fanny Kayo. Fem exactly. I I mean, sorry, Femi Falano seems Fanny. to be. This is yeah. now. I understand why the blogs had to spread out all his, his name. names, so yeah. you two won't do this, okay? Um, but I I I think it's also because of the commission um, uh, that is sponsoring this movie. Obviously, it's from a political. Agenda, and I think they're trying to really educate us with this movie, and they're trying to get it from the horse's mouth, or mm. this, the, right, right from the source and yeah. stuff. So I'm, I'm eager to see. I've never said this before, but I'm eager to see this in Nigerian well, movie and see I, what I it's hope, about. Like you said, if they want to educate us, I hope they truly educate us rather than trying to manage the perception we have about I think what, they, what it would be is for us to see their perspective. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it's a perspective that. thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's and it will not, it will not be perspective. our perspective because no. we are not politicians. Yeah. I don't mm. think I'll agree with it, but it would just be nice it's to see what It's also not going to be sincere. They... <laughs> That's do, I do I think it yeah. will be embellished? Yeah. But mm. Do I think there will be a little bit of hypocrisy and exaggeration in it? Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, undertones, undercurrent, oh, definitely. Yes. I mean, because it's our politics. So they wouldn't totally want to put it out there the way it is. Mm. But like you rightly said, it's their perspective, not ours. We might not totally 100% agree with what it is they're going to put out there, but they wear the shoes. So they can they can yeah. rightly express what it is they're trying to express. Maybe to some truth will be in it. We'll see. Some truths. Some truths. Um, the conversation continues right after this break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still by. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. I don't like girls that talk too much, tweet too much, or post on Instagram too much. And this is coming from our new baby boy in town, Rema. Baby boy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Fine the full Rema. clip. Um, it obviously, it doesn't sound as harsh as the blogs have headed it. Like, he's being authoritative. If I saw that, the headlines, first of all, I'd be like, brothers are not talking about, yeah. well, we're not going to keep quiet. We're not going to, like, the feminist will have jumped out. But I saw the clip first, and it was very decent. He wasn't demanding for us to be mute. He definitely wasn't saying that. He just said that for his life and the type of lifestyle that he has, he needs somebody that he can trust with his people. He wasn't talks. condescending. Because, yeah, because he even said, I'm, 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 I'm more susceptible to talking a lot during pillow talks. Um, so I just need somebody that I can trust. So in his immature, I guess, realized childlike mind, he equivalent mm -hmm. that to, to numbers because he, mm -hmm. the reason why I say that is because there's no maturity in saying that a girl who has a lot of followings talks too much. I was gonna get there. So um, that's what I'm saying, it's childlike. But I understand where he's coming from. Okay. That's just somebody that isn't too much in the social life because numbers these days just equate, it sometimes just mean that the girl may, might take social media a bit seriously in terms of I'm um, being on the spotlight and all that stuff and they might want to use this information. So I get the logic, but that does not mean that um, 
a lot of following equals not being able to trust yeah. them with your well, well, conversation. Or being private. Yeah. yeah. I think I saw, I saw the clip and I, I felt Rama wasn't, wasn't condescending. Like Riley said, it was what he likes. You know I mean? The, the kind of girl you want to get with. I don't, I don't need that to be all out there. And for him, the numbers means you have a whole lot of following. People will constantly come to your page mm -hmm. because someone, these days you have 50,000 or 100,000 following you, you're regarded as a social influencer. You know, and so he wouldn't want to put himself in a situation whereby I say something to you in secret, um, somewhere out of excitement or not being careful enough. Well, you see that that can happen with somebody who's quiet, though. You can that can also happen with now, someone, someone who isn't even on, yeah, social, media. on yeah. social media. That would blow it up. Now, this person is on social media. That, this person is, is known. No, I get, get, get what you're saying. Get a I get what you're saying. Right. I'm saying. A regular girl who's quiet would have friends. I get what you're you saying. Yeah. But so, a regular girl who is quiet, and then, uh, I mean, I agree totally what you have said yeah. and what you're saying, but I'm trying to paint a different scenario. So, you are dating someone who is maybe not even on social media because there are girls that are not on social media. Yeah. But you spewed a lot, like you said, if you are cool with a girl and you're dating her, you have the tendencies of talking a lot to her, right? And then she's, she, she, out of excitement, now goes ahead to speak with her friends. Mm. So how do you know yeah. her friend that is on social media or not, not even on social yeah. media will not sell that information yeah. to a platform that needs it? I think what he really needs, I mean, Some I'm all for... I'm yeah. all for someone who understands what he wants. Privacy, but I think he needs, uh, Yeah, privacy, discretion, discretion. But that it doesn't have anything to do, do with your, being your on social media or how many followers yeah. you have. Sometimes I can even make an argument to say he actually needs someone who already has seen that fame and is not crazy about that fame anymore right. and has been able to tone it down to say, okay, okay. this is what I'm putting out. This is part of my yeah. life I'm not putting out and I'm fine with it. But you see, the, his reason for this, it can come from anyone, even yeah. without the intention. Yeah. Well, I, I totally I totally get what Rema is trying to say because many people can't deal with, you know, tardiness, lousiness, and if, if, if few girls could come off like that sometimes yeah, true. when it, they don't know how to put put the silence on what they're saying and to them every information you put give out to them they just want to spin it out i agree i'm just saying it just doesn't you know, come with your yeah, number that, of followers but, but and the fact that you're private this online concerns, you know this yeah. is the remnant's concern yeah I mean, which is why he's still in his it, maturity you know. he's in it'll, his matured mind there's still an immaturity the way, he, the way he unfolded it yeah. is, is quite from a younger perspective exactly. if an older man said the same thing you'll have been a lot more like, yeah. insightful we'll using words like discreet yeah. um words like you know um wisdom implementing wisdom and way you share your information um but he said what he said i mean davido said the same thing too with um what's her Name. Chi, oh. Chi, what's her name? Choma. 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 He yeah, said. Exactly he, 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 he said that. He said that. Um, one of the reasons why he liked her was because she was in. Real, she didn't even have the social media account, mm -hmm. um, and that she liked to cook very well. He mentioned a few things when I don't know if it was a party you or just whatever. Right, you just brought a perfect example. Mm -hmm. Choma is Look at your man now. How of, many followers? How many followers does she don't have? Say, don't say. I mean, she's somewhat of a social. But she has not changed. But the point is, because she, she says, doesn't really she put out says, much. Mm. Does she have conversation with David? No, of course. Yeah. Does she, does she say anything? Oh, about I think she talks too much now. Like oh, when really? she when she had her baby, we said, you oh, know, how changing that person. But I mean, I think that's also a perfect example, like you say, yeah. to say. Whether you are online or offline, it is about your personality and it's you understanding and the boundary yeah, and the values as well, and also understanding that when your man comes to tell you something he's telling you not the word and when your woman tells you as well he's telling you and not for you to tell your guy friends yeah. right? you, you so know ladies I, I think we just live in an age where people can't for because of social media we don't we don't draw the line with, with what it's private any longer and what is what a is lot of sacred, people do, you know I mean? people do. You, we just judge every yeah, other person with do. the attitude of the few and, ones and I think, that I think don't enjoy you also put you also the, um, the, the transcend silence, your or, uh, the, the, uh, nah, the spiral because, of silence i you think know, i think one thing people do on social media that really irks me is when i upload something and you're like i would never do that well like i'm not you That's and what I, what you think is private i don't mind sharing it comes to things like body parts like people say i would never post my boobs some girls love that and there's nothing wrong with that some people with their relationship oh shit mm -hmm. you need to go and my check. why why not oh, wow. um yes. when am i can do it when i not be able to do it and if you have a problem with that you shouldn't be in my space no you no I, follow don't, me. I don't have the problem i'm, I'm even talking to the bigger audience oh, okay, so but it's the same thing with like <laughs> <laughs> you have people who like don't share their family members you don't know who their husbands are you don't mm -hmm. see their children while some pages is just for their family members and their children mm -hmm. some people is just about their bodies so be careful when you start to say things like what are your like is the person private or not because and what, what you post online doesn't you. make you a better person yep it at the end of you the know, day it's who you are i'm going to take yeah. a word you use right 
your values, what your values are. I mean, people they have, have to align. The person you're with, the it has day, to align because you know, with um, yeah. with um, Rema, he cannot tell me that he wouldn't want his babe to put his music on, on online. While some people say that that's too much information, that's that's my art and that's for me. So like, <laughs> tell us what your values <laughs> are. Let them okay. align with body, each body other. Body parts and my music, they're two different things. How? It's what? It's my art form. I mean, we're talking about my, my body. My body and I'm my saying, art. I'm also bro, saying. I'm also saying. I'm also saying. That's an art form. What? Have you? Have you? I'm saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, if you're comfortable and you 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 like your body, I, I love my body. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I tell myself somehow I'm I'm a kind of a nudist, you know. I'm, right. I don't mind to show that part, but I just will not do it. And if anybody does it, I'm not going to judge you. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So I think your values, <coughs> excuse me, your values, your principles, come to play whatever it is you're having something to do with. What you agree on, what's going to go online, what's not going to go online. It's part of your business. Right now, we have to go, but I have, to, have to say go? that. Okay. I'm glad that you have clothes on right now. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> and you as well. Thank God you have clothes on. Thank you for watching. And you can catch up on this conversation all over again by visiting our YouTube channel, our Plus TV Africa. And please do remember to subscribe. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Benny Ag and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay with us.